because I knew a different reality than the village. Mm. I knew an embu existed and I knew there was even a greater aspect in Nairobi which I had never seen. Mm. And at that time we were not on TV, so I even I had no concept of it mm. fully. There's no I, there's no way I was gonna settle with the village. You never truly know people until you take the time out to get to know people. A lot of people ask me why I spend so much time doing CTAs, especially dwelling on the early years, because they're so foundational. But also you get to understand the process. This story is it's something. <laughs> That's all I can say. Kendi, you've got an amazing testimony, life story. I'm uh, not even in, in a hurry to get to the end. I'm, 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 I'm interested in the progression. So... You've repeated, you've changed, you're the model student. You do well from an individual grade perspective, but your mean grade is exactly the same as your previous self. And the reason why you repeated was so that you could ensure that you, you get out of this place, but you've gotten the same grade. Correct. Continue. So the results are announced. Um, I even, you know how when you do KCSE, when you do the exams, you tabulate based on how you did the exam. Mm. You're tabulating. And the list I was going to get B. was a B. Mm. And all I, I, I even would tell God, just give me a B. And the list, for sure, I knew I would get a B. But no, I got a C plus as a main grade. I saw the results. Richie, I was disappointed. Mm. What helped me and what got me out of that disappointment was knowing I showed up for myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. As in, I did the best I could. Mm. My mom at this point as well, she was super supportive. Mm. And to help you understand, because she used to mark, she knew that all she needed to do was ask for a remark. But Richie, we didn't have the money. What? And she knew if she asked for a remark, for sure, that grade would have changed. Because there is no way, there is no way, my mean grade, as in that in 1997 in Kenya, I got a C plus. With that person? And then in 1998 in Chuka, as the person I had been, I got a, a C plus. There's no way. All she needed, you, this story of yours is too much. <laughs> She's in the system. She's yes. marking. Yes. All she needs to do is ask for a remark and you get your B. And, yes. Because we knew. And above. Yes. Because she knew. She, know, she saw how deflated I was. And she knew. Even how I was performing throughout the year. She knew. Even the mocks and everything. I was averaging B. We all knew I had done my best. But you didn't have the money. But there's no money. So now you're testing poverty and what poverty can do to stagnate you. Yes. And I, and I don't even want us to use poverty, poverty here yes. because Lack. poverty is relative, mm. a lot relative to the Kenyan context. The lack. So now I know, I know what, as in, I'm like, what? What does this mean? Does this mean I won't go to uni? Does this mean I won't get out of this village? What does this mean? Then it also means the other reason I need to get to uni, I need to be admitted as a public student because my parents will not afford private fees. Mm, mm, so mm. with C plus, you know, you can go to uni. Mm. But at the time, it's either you're a parallel student because the cut of you was a, was a B. So you either need to be a parallel student. Where are you paying fees? Where you're paying school fee. But if we are not affording money to, for a remark, uh, yeah. how, how, how are they affording to pay for me uh, parallel fees? or private university school fee, they won't. And I also have siblings who are now in boarding school. Mm, 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 mm. So as in, you stop being, they've done what they could. Mm. So we sit again, I didn't know, I had dreams. When I was in Chuka, I had dreams, I saw it. Oh, fact, I saw how I will be the engineer. I saw how, as in I had dreams. I wanted to do chemical engineering. I would talk with my older brother. And I would, I would be like, yes, I'm going to do electrical engineering. Mm. I'm going to do this. As in, I was going to do engineering. 
but to the C plus, what, what engineering are you going to do? So you wanted to do engineering? Yes. But with the C plus, how am I doing engineering? So we sat with my parents to explore what options are there. And it was obvious I was going to start because they're not going to, they were not going to afford parallel. I needed, at least in the interim, as we waited to figure out if I could do private uni or something, I needed to do a course that was affordable. Mm. My father had done computer science. So he tells me, why don't you? We have actually have that conversation. He's like, and I used to admire what he used to do. So I actually tell him, I remember we have the conversation, we sit, and I'm like, how about computer science? And in my mind, I'm thinking, what you didn't do with it, I could do with it. Mm, 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 mm. So then I apply to Kenya Poly and Mombasa Poly. Mm. But I choose to go to Kenya Polytechnic, which is now took University. Mm. And that is how I came to Nairobi. I needed to come to Nairobi. I didn't want to go to Mombasa. Mm. I needed to come to the capital city. So that is how I started my journey for college with computer science at Kenya Polytechnic. And what year is this? Now that is the year 2000. So remember, I finished in 98 and, uh, ha, I've even skipped. 99 was a hard, Richie. <laughs> ah, ja, 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 ja. Oh, it's a gap year. What gap year? It's because there's no money. Yes, well, now it's called a gap year. <laughs> but yes, it's because there's no money. <laughs> but, and it's fine. not gap year of, of uh, you're learning new things. Well, maybe I learned new things. But that was a hard year. You, th you thought the holidays were hard. <laughs> now you're a full year at home. Full year. January to December. <laughs> In January to December, walking seven kilometers to the farm. To what river life? No electricity. I don't even know how I kept it. <laughs> I have no friends in the village. Wow. So it is getting people. Some are mocking me because she thought she would do very well. Oh, man. Now she's stuck here. And I may repeat twice. She's now I may repeat. Uh, she's repeated. <laughs> that was hard. That year was hard. In fact, it showed me again. But my, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I went out of here. <laughs> no, it, it, but which formula? Yeah. So there's no way I was going to keep waiting for parafis. Mm. Because um, to do beyond this year, there's no way. So the route for, I was like, I need to map myself a route out of here. Uh -huh. That is how I mapped the route to, can we afford, what's the school fee? So I would go, and what was happening? I think they would advertise in the newspaper. So I would go, I would walk and go to the newspaper. My uncle used to, he was, he was more, um, he had more resources mm. and he used to have newspapers. So I would go visit him and look through what, what colleges have advertised and what the school feel like. Mm. Then Kenya Poly, that's how it ended up in Kenya Poly. And, and then I was like, no, this Kenya Poly, what will I do? Mm. So because I needed something with the maths and the sciences, because I enjoyed it. Yeah. That's how I chose computer science. And because I knew it because my father had done it. But that was the root. That, the main reason for that was to get I'm me not, to Nairobi. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not staying not here. I'm not staying here longer to figure out where money is coming from. Wow. Yeah. But that year was hard. That was the full shag's life. <laughs> um... <laughs> What kept me busy, though, uh. I got very plugged in in church. Ah, okay. So I was a youth leader in church. I would lead worship. I would, and and it's Kato, because we're Kato. Mm. I would go for um, the, the meetings with the priests and all that. So I was, that's what kept me busy. That's what, and I did that because instead of being told, to, so that I would have a legit reason mm. to not go to the farm. Mm. Or to not do the hard chores. Mm. Because you see, if I say Saturday to Membuana priest, the priest has told us, do we go for meetings? Yes. There, my father won't say no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or my mm -hmm. mother won't say no. So that is the reason I went. I got very deep in church. Yeah. I need to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Because that gap here is very dangerous. Mm. Yours was a gap year out of finances. Yes. But these days, maybe I think it's in the system. It's a gap year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Idleness, lack of activities leads to pregnancies, leads Correct. to... Ha, were you seeing this happening? I knew that part of the other thing in my mind, because I could see it with my age mates, the fastest way to remain in the village was to entertain boys. 
then you become <laughs> pregnant for sure. <laughs> if there is no way I was going to cross that line, there is no way. <laughs> so I did not, and then I was very clear. I am not getting a boy from this village. What? And not go by. I know what you're saying. But that would mean I'm stuck in the village. There is no way. I needed to get out. All I knew I needed to get out. So yes, to your point, I had seen it. I had seen it with some of my uh, distance cousins or whatever. That is the one sure way, for sure, they would remain in the village. And that's how poverty kept on. But because my mother was strict, mm. I did not. I did not engage. So I, you know, this, this, um, r this thing of you wanting to leave, mm. this is what's blowing my mind. You don't know exactly where you're going, but yes. you know that this is not for you. Uh, uh, this is not for me. There's, uh, no, but there's no time you ever felt, no. oh, I am enjoying. No, 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 no. No. It's like you're a fish in a tiny pond. Tiny, tiny. Yeah. Oh, okay. 99 was a hard year. No, 99 <laughs> was a hard year. It was a very hard year. As in, I did everything possible. I tried milking cows. I could, my mother kicked me out because my fingers were not strong yeah. enough. <laughs> we cooked with firewood. Obviously, there was no electricity. Mm. So that whole moshi, as in the, the, what do you call it in English? Moshi is what? Smoke. Smoke, yeah. yes. Because <laughs> we have an English idea yes. as well. Yes, smoke. The, yani, where? It was it's hard. <laughs> but also this, foundation of yours that had that you had seen embo mm. you had known this better Correct. life that is why and it's good you say that i am a strong believer strong believer when children are young expose them to the realities of life far and wide it locks in their mind that is what inspires them to want to desire mm. because i knew a different reality than the village mm. I knew an embu existed and I knew there was even a greater aspect in Nairobi which I had never seen. Mm. And at that time we were not on TV, so I even I had no concept of it mm. fully. There's no I there's no I was gonna settle with the village. And that is what differentiated me from actually those around me in the village. Because mm. I knew how big that dream could be. What you've said is powerful. What you said is, and I love that you've said at this early age. Very early age. And in one of the, and I'll say this, I'll lock it later, but in one of the other bits of my life, when you introduced me, you said I'm a storytelling coach. Mm. I coach people, advocacy people, to tell, to answer their why, why they got into advocacy. Mm. I will tell you, Richie, what shows up in their why is the 11 to 14 year old. Ooh. That is where who you project to be or who, what you tap on is formed. That is when it is formed. Mm, 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 mm. They, as it, some even go as low as seven, mm. but what, when, who they become, yep. which is really my story. Mm is because it has tapped to the possibilities or to what, to either the trauma or the possibility mm -hmm. or that was formed at that age. And here's the crazy thing. Mm -hmm. It can be in a positive way. Correct. It can be in a negative way. It's usually both ways. Wow. It's usually both ways. <laughs> hey, 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 this is good. This is, this is gold. Okay. Ninety-nine ends. The year of hard. Yes, the year. The year of where? <laughs> I'm going to title this video the year of where. That year. <laughs> anyway, it is well. It is well. <laughs> yes. Between church and my radio, mm. Sundowner, <laughs> late nights. <laughs> Theater. There was there is the theater they used to play. I can't remember what that the news was called. Uh, but there was theater. It was narrated as a as as a as a story. Mm. I would close my eyes and imagine, and I would listen mm. to those stories and escape. Mm. So that's how I would go to the escape world. So then, um, by the end of that year, I have I have applied. It it was still also naturally a gap year because even those who are going to uni mm. needed to be out that full year. 
It's just that them, they knew you're just waiting for placement. Yes. If you, the others, you needed to do work a little more. Mm. You need to get accepted, apply. Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. Um, so again, can you say, my mother is a teacher. So obviously, be, teaching, being a teacher was an option. So again, the, be, be a math or chemistry teacher was part of it. But I'm like, now, the most progressed people in this village are high school teachers. Mm. Surely. Mm -mm. No, I can do more. Mm. So that's how I got into computer science because my father had done computer science. Had your father never done computer science? I don't think that's I not even known. a word you'd have known. No, I would never have known. And he got in early. He got in very early. Nineteen. Like, I'm sure even yes. you from the tech world, you know, globally. Yes. yes. 1990. Yes, that was the, the start. That was the start of it. He was among the pioneers. That's how I know. As in his classmates, because he was with classmates who are younger than him, obviously, because I think at the time he was going, was like maybe what, 31, 32? Which is not old. Yes. But <laughs> only that his classmates were maybe 10 years. So they were the ones who had just le left uh, high school. Yes. His classmates, when now I came to Nairobi, were the heads of IT. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you get so. Yep. Had he stuck to the path, obviously, he would, but he had a lot more. You know, the risk changes when you're a family person. Yep, you had more yeah. responsibilities. Yes, yes. Wow. But also, 31 is so young. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah, when you now yeah. look at it in mm. retrospect, 31 is a family. Hey, those are tough mm. decisions he was making. They were. Okay. So I come. <laughs> I remember, Nairobi. I know, Nairobi here we come. When, when we all sat in agreement, I could not believe. And I thank God, I'm like, whoa, we have agreed I am coming to Nairobi and I'm coming to Kenya Poli. Okay, God, thank you. There's Kenya Poli is the one in town. Yes. Uh -huh. Because me, for me, it was just escape, leave, leave, <laughs> leave, leave, leave the village. 